In this overview of 3D Sellers Listings Manager, we will explore a variety of information to help your team import eBay listings with a CSV file, including the CSV format, auction versus fixed price, required eBay fields, shipping and return settings, assigning categories, item specifics, images, variation listings, uploading and mapping CSVs, and how to bulk publish imported listings to eBay. See timestamps in the description for individual feature overviews. The CSV Format You can download a sample CSV when importing items, or see the description of this video for a link to download. Each listing and variation require one row and an SKU. Auction versus Fixed Price Items Let's review some key differences between the required eBay values for auctions and fixed price listings. The second row in the sample CSV is an auction listing, and the third is a fixed price listing, also known as good till cancelled or a GTC listing. Auction listings must include a listing duration value, where for the fixed price listing, this field is left blank. Auctions also require an auction start price and include optional fields to set a reserve and buy it now price. Note, you can also use best offer for auction listings. However, buy it now and best offer cannot be used at the same time. Fixed price listings require a few fields that auctions don't allow, such as price and inventory values. However, you can use the 3D seller's wholesale price field with auctions. Required eBay fields. Fields such as title, description, category, price details, and item location details are required for every eBay listing. Required fields such as item specifics and condition can change based on the chosen category for the listing. Some fields require exact spelling or specific values, such as condition, package type, and country. To view correct spelling and values for these fields, a link to a complete list of CSV fields and accepted values is in the description of this video. Shipping and return settings. Shipping and return settings can be chosen after importing your items. Later on, we'll explore how to select these before publishing your imported listings. For now, let's make a quick note about special item location and package settings. Each listing will require a package type. eBay's accepted package type can vary depending on the category and eBay site that the listing is published to. The value Package Thick Envelope is accepted for almost every category and eBay site. For eBay Australia, the value Mailing Boxes may work for you instead. For the country setting, you must use a two-letter country code. For example, if the item is located in the United Kingdom, use GB. Or, for the United States, enter US. Assigning Categories when entering a value for category, you can use either keywords or the title of the eBay subcategory, or the numerical category ID from eBay. If using keywords, our system will try and match them with eBay's default category search. Sadly, this is not accurate all of the time. However, if using the category ID, your listings will always be imported with the correct category. Category IDs can be found in the URL when searching for items on eBay or use our category search feature and the import listings pop-up. If you have an eBay store subscription, you can also search for your custom store category IDs. Item specifics. The CSV import format includes standard eBay item specifics and the ability to import custom item specifics. To set a custom item specific, use the custom specific field, followed by the label or name of the item specific. Custom item specifics are also used when a country's eBay site spells our item specifics differently. For example, if publishing to the UK eBay site, the color field will not import correctly. Instead, the custom specific field with color will need to be used. Images Each image column header is labeled image 1, image 2, and so on. The cell value needs to be a direct URL to a JPEG or PNG image. Any image hosting service or website URL is allowed. Variations The fourth row through the eighth row in the sample CSV is one listing with four variations. The top row of the variation listing is called the parent. This row will include all the standard data for an eBay listing. 
However, the variation row can only include the SKU, the parent's SKU, item specifics, price, and inventory values. If a row is a variation, include the parent's SKU in the parent SKU column. This attaches the variation to the parent. Please note that eBay does not allow setting the same fields for variations and the parent. For example, do not include a value for the same item specific in the parent and the variation. Importing and mapping a CSV. After creating a CSV, head over to the Upload CSV page and click the Import Items button. Select the CSV from your computer and click Next. If the column headers in your CSV do not match ours, you can select the appropriate fields to import. Also, you can use a fallback value for almost every field setting. If a fallback value is set, and the listing in the CSV does not have a value for that field, the fallback value will be used instead. This also means that you can exclude certain columns in your CSV and use fallback. For example, if all of the items are located in the United Kingdom, you could delete the country column Upload and use GB as the fallback value for all the items. Publishing imported products to eBay. When your items have imported successfully, they will appear in your drafts. Now you can make any final changes with bulk actions or by editing individual items. If you'd like to publish listings in bulk, select all of your items and click the List to eBay button. In the pop up, choose the eBay policies you want to use for payment, shipping, and return settings. You can also choose other settings that pertain to individual items and what you would like to do with the drafts after publishing. If you see a yellow error box after publishing, click the View Errors button to review eBay's error messages. Each error contains a message from eBay explaining the issue with certain settings, accompanied with the draft ID of the listing that failed to publish. If you'd like to review how-to and help articles for this tool, use the help button at the top of your screen. Also, you can use our messenger bot to send us a message, search for other articles, and request features. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.